everybody. I'm just picking my camera up a little bit so y'all can see. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sew the signature into our journal cover. And then we can start working on the rest of our ephemera that's gonna go in it and then decorate the pages. So we only have a few more days until we get to start a new journal. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip these like I just had them. I just wanted to make sure that they were really good and stacked in there straight and very much into the center. Okay, now I'm going to grab my awl. Let me find it. Found it. Okay. And I'm going to punch three holes down here, up here, and in the center. It's called a three hole pamphlet, st pamphlet stitch. <laughs> So I'm gonna grab I'm gonna do the center one first. I try and do it while it's it's with my hand in there as closed as possible. Push this all the way through. All the way through. Oh jeez. <laughs> Down here. <coughs> And up here, I don't go very close because I don't want it to come undone or tear the pages. Go through. Okay, there we go. Now we have all three holes. I'm gonna grab a needle. I'm gonna do this real time to show everybody how I do it. It's not much different than how everybody else does it. I'm gonna use this kind of a goldish. I think that'd be nice. And we do it three times the length of our journal. One, two, three. And it's, sometimes you always end up with a little extra, which is okay. So we have a length of thread here. Thread my needle to the best of my ability. Blind as a bat. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. And now I'm going to put it in the center hole. Pull through and in my little a little end here I'm going to tuck under that move it down pull this the rest of the way through so it's tight and go down to the bottom hole this is where I come all thumbs Come on, go in. <laughs> of course, I'm on camera and it doesn't want to do what I want it to do. Why are you guys acting like this? Okay, there we go. Get through. Pull. Go up to the top hole and go out. Well, just going from the inside out is always the easy, the easy one. Don't lose your thread there. Okay. And then in through the center hole. Make sure you don't pick up the thread that's already coming out. Come on. Into the hole you go. Oh, 
Ugh, always going to get those horrible. It's just a pain. There we go. Okay, and pull it through. And make sure to one. And do this. Make sure that one is on one side of this and one is on the other. And then pull. Make sure the back side is still kind of loose. And pull harder. Make a knot. They're still kind of loose. off now. If anybody's ever watched a, a channel for bookmaking or journal making, you've probably seen this a million times. So I am sorry. I'm going to make one more knot just to be on the safe side. The reason you put the knot, you know, one arm on either side is because the knot ends up being on top of this. So it can't go back, the knot can't go back through the hole. That's the whole point of that. So if you don't do it that way, you risk it falling apart. And you don't want that. Not after all your hard work. Put my needle away. And put this to the side. Okay, I'm going to put those away too. Alrighty, so here we go. And now that it's sewn, everything's sewn in, we can really start working with it. So there are a few things that I want to do before we do anything else. There's some pages that we were going to make into pockets. Where are they? Oh, trying to find here. Okay, here's one set. And what we're going to do is take some glue. Try and get rid of all the glue piece. Okay, so this pocket's going to be facing this direction. So we're going to want our little finger pull to be on this side. Let's get that lined up. save this because what we're going to do is we're going to glue it to the back page so it looks like that when you have an envelope you know when you make this little pocket so first we're going to glue this shut and then we can glue that little little part in And this keeps you from having to uh, ink the inside or line the inside if you don't choose to. It makes this kind of disappear. See, but it's still there. It's just blended in. So that's what we're going to do. Upside down and backwards. There we go. Very carefully put that in there. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? Now, hold on. I need a shrink. And a piece of, just a piece of regular old card or whatever. And we're going to stick that inside here. Like 
like so. I changed my new pad and so I was like, oh yay, it's not gonna fall apart on me. That looks dirty, like it's been used. All right, so that's one pocket. A little side envelope pocket made. Pretty cool, huh? And then I think, yeah, we were gonna glue this down as well. So we'll just do that while we're here. I'll make just a little tuck spot for there. And let's see what else are we gonna do. Yeah, another tuck spot and envelope. Here we go. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with this as we did with the other. And let's see, we will cut our hole. Our little thumb pull. Save that again. And we'll glue it shut. This is just what a little pre planning will do. You know, when you're putting your pages together for your for your journal and you say, Well, you know, I want those kind of little tuck spots and little things like that in there. So if you pre-plan that, it makes it so much easier. Okay. And I'll put this, glue this onto the back page. Eh. Behave, behave. Hard to do this left-handed. Push it up there. There we go. All right, and again with the uh, ink to make it look old or used more. Also makes it stand out from that little piece that we just glued in. Kind of gives it that defined look like that. Alrighty. Close that up because I'm it's starting to get dried out. I need to buy a new one. Alright, so what else? Here's the center of our signature. Aha, another pocket. That's right, I had four. I forgot about that. So should we do it this way? Yeah, let's do it this way. Uh, let's see. Do just the same. Glue, glue, glue. So I hope everybody's having a good time today. Getting some crafting done or art done or whatever makes you the happiest because that's what's important very important whatever makes you happiest especially in this day and age if you're feeling stressed out Picking up a hobby is the best thing that you can do. And you never know, sometimes that hobby can turn into a, a career. You never know with those types of things. You really don't.
even if it doesn't, as long as it makes you happy. It helps you relieve stress and anxiety. That's the most important part. Okay, we got another one. And we'll put this one going the other direction, just like we did the first. I like the pictures. These are just so pretty. Anything else that needs gluing and inking? I don't think so. I think this was it. Yep, that's it. Now we have this flap, and that's connected to this envelope that we we just finished sewing in. Which I love this paper. Oh, um, I made this. I feel like that little water. I made this. Um, but what we're gonna do? is we're going to use this flap here for, where'd you go? This envelope, I think, be fixed. Because if we glue this on that flap, then it's got a, like a permanent place to be. I just don't want to, should we do it on the front side? Oh, that'd be cool. I'm going to dig that. So we could glue this down like that. Um, what else would I, or do we, oh wait, but wait, there's more. We could glue that there. This is that long pocket we made with the tag. Oh, that's open on the back. Nope, that's got to be flat to a, to a page. Oh, let's see. Maybe we'll stick with the big envelope idea. We'll just stick with that. But it's like, I really wish it was the same length. Maybe we can find something else to put here instead. I don't know. That would not be bad. Just don't want it to butt up because then it won't close. If we inked up the back side of this, it would have a cute place to be in here. Definitely. Let's, let's just do that. We just don't want it to be this bright white. And I have another idea. Oh, goodness. I have, I bought <laughs> a Tim Holtz stencil. First one I've ever had. I mean, this is one I've been wanting. It was on my wish list on Amazon for the longest time. And I just got it. So I think I'm going to add it to the back of here. And we shall see how it does. Because, like I said, I've been wanting this one for a really long time. We'll give the back of this some fun look. Do a little more splash. <coughs> Excuse me. Cool. Dig it. 
All right. That gives me a little... And this can be a journaling spot as well. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. All right, and then we can glue, like glue it right to there, and then that will be the back side. That's pretty cool. I dig it. Okay, we're gonna need some heavy duty glue. We'll glue the flap. Uh -oh. Alrighty. And like I said, just bring it close, but not all the way. Because if it butts up, it might hinder this from flapping. Fold it over a little bit and pull it up just a tad. There we go. Awesome. Haha. -ha. Success. We have success. Alrighty. Close that glue up. Oh. We've got so many more pages to decorate. But now that we've used this stencil, we can use it on other pages too, and in different colors and in different ways. So, let's figure out where we want some things. Like, for example, this, because we know that that has to be glued on these three sides so that kind of blends right in doesn't it <laughs> it looks cool over here but this needs this is too busy for to be adding anything on the back side of here because literally I was just gonna say oh we could add some stencil but that would be so busy with this I think leaving this just like it is and then we can always use a stamp here or there but nothing super busy so, we're just going to hop around here and add some things to our journal as we think it should need this, that, or the other, wherever. I'm just going to put this dead center. I hope that's dead center. Looks like dead center. Okay, now we're going to let that glue dry before we try and stick this little journaling card into it. So we'll just put that there. And yeah, let's see. Uh, skip it around, skip it around. Do we want to put anything else on this page? I do want to find some place for these corners that we, we did. Because they're really super pretty. Should we put those in the center, maybe? Where's their center? There's our center. That looks kind of cool, but that covers up these roses. We put one on just the one page and put something up here. That would work. Because <coughs> we can always use this corner on another page. This would look cute up here, just hanging over. I like that. Let's get some paper clips. And paper clip that to the page. I've got a little tub of paper clips. Look. 
color, what color? Green, let's use green. We'll just paper clip that right there. And we'll glue this to the bottom here. Mm, yeah, we'll just do that. This is cardstock. Use heavier glue. Hey, what does that? Come on. Let's see, when we put these pockets and things in there, we can still go back and decorate them. We don't have to decorate them first. This way, depending on how the page turns out and what you want to tuck into it, you can kind of decide as you go instead of worrying about it ahead of time and then things don't look like, it's like, well, if I hadn't decorated that yet, <laughs> it would go great on that page. There we go. Okay. And let's see. Coming along, coming along. This is a plain page, but I wanted to, I'm going to be putting like stencils and things like that on corners and whatnot. So, we can always See, this is how I, I just kind of go through, and it's like, oh, that would look good here, and that would look good there. Do we have anything pink? Yes, we do. We have our CD case. I think that's going to need to go on a on a <laughs> left-hand side page here, like that, like over the top. It's kind of cute, isn't it? Um. We could use one of the smaller ones. Yeah, there's weight on those. I do, however, have this a little pocket. And I wanted to put it at like the bottom of a page, but that would be too matchy matchy looking. That'd be cute purple in his chest picks up the purple of the paper. So we could do that. I want that to hang out. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and just glue the whole back instead of making it to where it's like two pockets because this is kind of an odd bird. <laughs> you have to make sure it's got plenty of glue because it's not wanting to bend very well. Okay. And we are down like that. Nice. Okay. And we could put a, let's put one, let's put this one in it. See how this is going to look? Put that in there. And this could go in there. See how pretty that is? That's gorgeous. Okay. We are just boogieing right along. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We have this other pocket. I like these colors on here a lot. I like the golds on this though too. Mm. 
what to do. I think we're going to be covering that other side up with more stuff than that. Because it actually needs something to lighten it up with. Because it's so dark. Um, something like this would work. If we wanted to make it a pocket on its own, maybe? It's on cardstock already. Let's see. You know I me, mean? I gotta grunge everything. get this one finished so I can start on my next one which I'm so excited about oh my gosh okay and we could slide it down to the bottom and put another that would almost not fit that'd be tight jeez um, well, we do have these others, but they are, they feel too small. They would disappear in that. That's not going to work. Well, we could make it a quarter tuck, and then this would, like, fit in that way. That'd be kind of cool. I like that idea. Let's make it a quarter tuck. Because it needs something to tone that paper down. I think it's beautiful. It's just, it was just a little dark for me. I didn't want something so dark. Now, this kind of helps tone it down a little bit because it's a lighter, lighter picture. There. Okay, and then we'll have, I think this one, because it's got the lace that sticks out the side, I think that would be pretty tucked in there. That's going to be perfect. All right, so you see we're already finding places to put things. Isn't that awesome? Now, we have all these little envelopes. Oh, we still have this one corner top. We gotta do that still. So let's find a nice place for it. That'll be too busy. On the back side, wouldn't be. Kind of balance out that in the bird cage. And like I said, we can always go back and decorate these if we wanna. I like it the way it looks, but that's me. And sometimes less is more, you know? I do like some journals that are just so stuffed, full of stuff. It's just, oh, And all the, the textures and colors. I just love the way that looks. The other one was on the same corner too, so hold up. Let's find a different page. Oh, oh yeah, there we go, there we go. This page for sure. And this can have little journaling cards in it or what have you. But yeah, the colors, that's right, I wanted to do that. All right. So, let's go back to the beginning. Now we know we were gonna put, we need to decorate the front of this also. What do I have? What do I have? The cherry blossoms. That would be kind of cool. And we could make a pocket out of that for these smaller tags. Because, yeah, that'll work. So, let's grunge it, of course. this is a pocket on the other side for a bigger tag which we still need to make 
but I also have to do some jelly plate printing and I've got another video I have to to do that was a requested video on my other channel so I'm kind <laughs> of trying to find all the time for all of this it's not been easy okay so we'll put this near the bottom I like the contrast of the colors oh wait 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 come on just a little one not a huge one oh, bigger than that come on that's better Now we'll glue it on these three sides. Angela Kerr, she said something really smart. She said, always hold it by this side that you don't want to glue. I was like, oh my God, that's brilliant. It's like, right now. And I've done it that way ever since, and it works perfectly. I've never glued the wrong side. And we're down. Nice. Okay. Oh, that looks so gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to be putting one of these tags into here. So we're going to have to make these as well. So one of them at least uh let's see we still have all these envelopes lots and lots of envelopes and a little journaling card in it cute um all these the uh specimen card this we have a lot of stuff yet to do and on top of all that i still gotta make a topper for the front so We've got some work ahead of us, but I don't want to drag this video out too long, but at least you got to see a little bit of what I've been doing, what I've been working on, and uh, yeah, and my topper, I have a whole package of these uh, art, trader, trade, art trading card backers, and it basically is you have an art trading card, and this is to keep it from bending in the mail, and I thought I was getting our trading cards, but they were the backers. <coughs> so I was like, what am I going to do with these? So I took it and I measured, and they are two and a half by three and a half inches, uh, which is six and a half by nine centimeters. And I made a one centimeter border all the way around and then cut out the center. And I plan on covering this with paper and hopefully using it on the cover as like our center focal point either this way or this way I'm not sure yet so we'll I'll be figuring this out as well but I was thinking about taking and putting it on top of and then having this like a pocket where you can slide a picture in and out so I'd have to have it raised up just a little bit so we'll be working on that I will work on that for sure and uh, let you see how it's all going so let's do a little flip through so yeah this should be dry now we can put this in here Ta -da. that looks really good and let's see we've got got this done we still have makeup tag for that Come on, fingers work. Uh, what else? We glued this for a tuck spot. We glued all of our pockets shut and inked them and put the little back, you know, back piece in. And let's see. There's another one. Uh, oh, isn't this paper just gorgeous? I love this stencil. I use it a lot, but it just came out so great on this paper. I was so happy with it. 
have one of those in a little little pocket there. And another pocket here. I won't be stuffing these with probably just pieces of paper I folded up and stenciled and you know, stamped on and whatnot. Have another one here. Why is this white? I wasn't supposed to have any white sheets. That's right, this was white. So we stenciled there. And this pocket here. And which one was it going to go there? Let's see. No, we only put a pocket in a pocket. That'd be kind of weird. Um, we'll probably make one of these up to put in here. So, we're going to stick that in there so we know what we're doing. Come on. See, that's why they have to be backed, because they don't want to work. But you don't back them. There we go. All right. Put our birdie in, stump the back. Got our corner tuck here for this tag. And this corner here, we can stick this envelope in. There we go. And let's see. Yeah, that's it for that for right now. So, <clears throat> Wow, it's gonna be a chunky monkey. It's gonna get him out. So we're gonna have to figure out a closure for this as well. Which shouldn't be too hard. Probably a couple of eyelets and some some ribbon. And then we'll be done. Yay. Okay, so that's what we've worked on so far today. So yeah, um, my next video will be the completion of it and a flip through. And a special announcement about the next journal. So, yeah. I can't wait to let you guys in on it. So, I will see you in a few days. Love you bunches. Bye.